It turns out a lot of Americans are sacrificing other things to fill up their tanks. Colton Schoen has where people are pinching pennies. In New Mexico, we hit $4 a gallon in early March. Two months later, the price at the pump is still creeping higher and higher. Now we're seeing prices we've never seen before here. UNM finance expert Riley White says soaring fuel cost is tied directly to the war in Ukraine. Gas prices are one of those items that we just can't buy less of uh, when prices go up. For example, uh, even though we might want to drive less, we have to go to school, work other places. And so what happens is, is that those losses uh, uh, of our, from our bottom line and in our pocketbook hit us in other places. JP Morgan Research says gas prices have gone up 20% since the February invasion, and now the numbers are in. Consumers have slashed spending in other areas, roughly $9.6 billion a month. So the question is, is where are consumers cutting back specifically? We find that when gas prices are higher, consumers often cut back in interesting ways. Like rethinking discretionary spending, such as canceling or changing summer vacation plans. Also, delaying large purchases. So what does this all mean for the economy? now dealing with a high inflationary environment with high gas prices, it's never good news. White says travel and gas demand normally drop off at the end of summer approaching Labor Day, so there might be a little relief then. I'm Colton Schoen, KOB4.